What do you think the largest breakthrough will be within STEM in general or specifically cardiology in the next 10 years? And how do you think it'll influence young women? Well, I think the next 10 years, we're going to be seeing even greater technology in cardiology. Um, we, we, it's a very technologically advanced field, but very interested in the, how we use telehealth which was really just bo a boom in the pandemic. Yeah. But you know, we have to make telehealth visits more effective. And we have technology to use remote EKGs and stethoscopes to make that visit even more valuable as a cardiologist. Mm -hmm. You know, right now, telehealth visits are great if you're a dermatologist and someone has a skin rash because you can see it. But being a cardiologist, you, you, the visit is made better if somebody weighs themselves and has a home blood pressure machine. Yeah. Um, we're also, people will be able to make, you know, have their data while at home. You know, the new Apple Watch has um, ability to produce an electrocardiogram and is sensitive to picking up an arrhythmia known as atrial fibrillation an irregular heartbeat that increases risk for stroke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that telemedicine is definitely going to be a big advancement, but especially for fields where it doesn't seem as easy to perform telemedicine like you were saying. And I think that because telemedicine, it's also so much more accessible to so many people because there's no need to go to a hospital that it's definitely gonna become very, very widespread. Right, and people in rural areas have lack of access yeah. to convenient health care. And this is really a way to bring about access mm -hmm. to those individuals. And I think that as more and more women and organizations are working to increase women's interest into STEM fields, we will begin to see more women. It's my hope that in the next 10 years, we're not gonna be able to say woman cardiologist, but cardiologist who happens to be a woman. Okay, so I, I really think, and I bring this up at meetings that I have with my colleagues um, where, where the women in cardiology committee, when the women in cardiology committee meets, it's really important that we become part of the fabric of the system, yeah. not separate and unequal. What is one thing you wish you knew about STEM or cardiology or science growing up? And what advice could you give to young girls who are interested in pursuing STEM? Well, I wish I understood a little more about the um, political structure in medicine and healthcare, because in, in work, any sort of work, it's not just about being really smart and doing the job, but you really have to understand what the organization that you work for is like. Yeah, yeah. No, so what I'm, I'm telling people is to really have a more global vision about the field you're going into, a place you're going to work in the future or the places you're going to work because one's career is not really stuck in one place all the time. You do many different things. So I think it's important. Yes, you're interested in being a scientist or a doctor, but you really have to understand more about the organizational structure of the specialty or program you're going to be working at. This was really, really great. It was so, so interesting to hear from you and to hear about cardiology and your experience with it and everything. Well, thank you. And it's been really great to talk to you. And I, you know, please feel free to reach out to me as you're planning your career. Okay, thank you so, so much. This was wonderful. It's great. Have a great weekend. You as well. Bye. Bye.